Yeah, so... I suppose in the grand things, like... I don't really have anything major to discuss, I guess. Because usually when I like to discuss my mind, I discuss, like, you know, something that's uh, important to me. Something that might be, like, important to me, something that I, I might have a problem with. Or... Maybe people have just been giving me problems. There's nothing really substantial to talk about. Like, I could say something about, you know, X and Y and whatnot, or whatever. But, I don't know, it's, it's not really something to discuss much. But, yeah. But, I do kind of want to talk about, like, me streaming. So... I've kind of been doing this for three years now. Not necessarily streaming, but more me making content, me trying to be an artist specifically, and having a presence on the internet. I've been trying to do this for three years. And that's not nothing, you know? That's that's not nothing. Because, I mean, if I was doing this for like a month, I probably would... Uh, I probably would have second thoughts one not. But you know, like after doing this for like three years and whatnot, trying to make somewhat of a a, a, a presence or a footprint on the internet. I do kinda have some thoughts about it. And that being in the grand scheme of things it's a bitch. <laughs> it really is. So, I understand that, you know, I don't really have much of a presence on the internet. I know there are people that do like me and like what I make and, you know, they like seeing me stream and everything. I get it. I do understand that. And... It's not to say that, you know, doing this for three years has been pointless or anything. And that I'm going to give up. It's not to say that. Because I do see the gears turning. I do see the wheels moving. I do see something happening. But for three years, man, like, trying to turn this into... From a ho trying to turn this from a hobby into more of a full-time career... It has not been easy. And a big part of it, I kind of know why. So the one thing I have been trying to... I haven't been talking much about this publicly. Because I don't see the point until, like, something actually has been set in motion. But... I don't really collab with anyone else. And, you know, I know, like, you know, collaboration's a good way to, you know, get yourself out there, expo get more exposure, so on and so forth. It's, it's good for uh, the streamer. I have tried doing that to varying degrees. I've tried doing that, especially, like, last year, but nobody wanted to collab. Or should I say, like, nobody has really returned to my calls. I think that's better put it. And, you know, it's not... Here's the thing. I don't put it against them. I don't put it against the people who I ask, like, Hey, um, I was wondering if we could do collabs and whatnot. I, I, I don't put it against them because, in the grand scheme of things, at the end of the day, I get it. Like, I'm a stranger to a lot of people. I do have friends and whatnot, sure, but at the end of the day, I'm not... Like, I don't have this big influence. I don't have like this huge exposure or anything at the end of the day i'm just kind of a stranger on the internet and i get you know hearing someone out of the blue who you've never met who don't even fucking know say hey hi uh it's nice to meet you i was wondering if i could collab yeah that's a little weird I, I don't blame people for either uh, just slamming the door or not even bothering answering. I get it. I get it. 
you know it's just like I, I i hope that i i hope that like my particular how i come off and whatnot is not some sort of like egotistical cocky superstar i i, I hope like because i i try to come off more humble in a sense i really do i i try to i don't know if it's how possible i try to and you know i understand I understand the reality of it all because I've had like three years to realize it. Like before now, um, back in 2019 at the very like latest, I had been running a channel that had about like last time I was there, it was around over 8,000 subscribers. And it was a channel that was mainly full of shit posts and an addiction that I fell out of. And the channel did insanely well. Like 8,000 subscribers when I was on it, when I got off it, 10,000. I think it's still like that. I'm not, I haven't checked. But, you know, it was something. And then for my own sake of happiness and whatnot, I decided, oh, I want to go do something else. I want to go do something else. I wanted to be an artist. So I left it. Because I felt like that channel was making me unhappy. Like just sticking with it. And... Just constantly doing that content. Those shit posts. The, ed the editing and whatnot. Just... It was making me unhappy. Or I should say... It was making me happy but whatever was making me happy was gone and now whenever i look back at the channel it's just to me it's one giant cry for help and yeah i prefer not to keep looking at that because it because i i don't really need like to cry for help well anymore at least because i'm i'm happy I'm getting, I'm becoming much more happier with who I am, and I've become happier with what I do. So I don't really think, like, I don't know, to me, it's just like, I don't really think I need to keep around, uh, something that makes me unhappy, in a sense. But yeah. And when I decided to leave it, and you know start a channel for making art which this was professionally it was just me doing art i noticed how many people would have preferred watching shit posts over my own artwork pretty quickly i noticed this and then i realized it well you know nowadays this may not be the case because I've met people who actually do, you know, they, they do like me. But when it started, I found there were people that more preferred the content that I make over the content creator. Because when it came to the stuff that I made, when it came to the stuff that um, I put time and effort into, a lot of people would just flock to it. A lot of people enjoyed it. But when it came to me specifically, nobody really gave a shit. Not really. Nobody gave a shit. Not to say that that isn't that is not to say that that's the same case now because I know people give a shit. I know there are people that give a shit. I'm finding people that give a shit. But yeah, it's just like it's it's something. You know, it's just like I I I had to look at like you know going from. A channel that had over 8,000 subscribers to 3,000. I know numbers isn't everything. I know this. But part of me be lying and say that it didn't... Uh, I didn't take notice and it didn't uh, affect me a little bit. Because I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. When I, when I try to reach out for, you know, collabs with 
new with uh, other YouTubers, so on and so forth, you know, when I try to reach out to collabs, yes, okay, there is a part of me that was just like, yes, I would like to uh, collab, I would like to have that exposure, I would like to have the numbers. I, I think that's evident in anybody who makes content, and people would be like, well, maybe you should just do it for the fun. Well, that's great and all, but I mean, like, do you have a backup plan for, like, how you're gonna pay for rent and everything? Are you gonna pay for your bills? Like, I'm trying to do this to have a work-life balance, and yeah, look, I don't give a f I really, at the end of the day, I, the, the, I shouldn't say that I don't give a fuck because I do, but clout, exposure, and the numbers, they're not the main end goal for me here. My main end goal is to be happy with what I make and hang out with people and even sort of make them happy somewhat. And, you know, when it, but when it comes to the whole thing, right? It's hard to, it's hard to say that I, I don't feel anything about it when I do. Like, it, it's obvious. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't, it's not getting numbers and whatnot. It's not getting number. or I should say not getting numbers, not getting cloud, not getting exposure. It's not the end of the world. But, you know, when you're, when you're going to, trying to make this a full-time job, yeah, there is some exposure in, to that that you need. That's important. And yeah, it's just like generally when I when I reach out for clouds, yes, I am concerned about exposure and numbers, so on and so forth, right? But at most, for the majority, what I'm concerned about is whether or not I'm gonna have a uh, if I were to collab with them, if I were to have like enjoy myself, if I were to have a good time, if I if I were to become friends with them and we could hang. That's really my major focus. And, you know, I get there are people that, you know, they see someone like me who they don't have, they have no idea who the fuck they are, reaching out and say, hey, can we collab? And being like, yo, this dude's a fucking collab chaser. I'm not about to give him the time of day. I get it. I understand that. And it's most likely going to be this way for a long time. I get it. This is how I'm going to be seen by... A number of people who are you know they're big content creators and you know I wanted to collab with them in some way because I you know I like their characters and I like you know I I, I grew accustomed to them and so on and so forth and just I, I wanted to get to know them better and sort of hang out and whatnot but you know if at the end of the day I can't really control how people see me it just is it is what it is so yeah but, honestly, when it comes to being a streamer in general nowadays, like, I've said a lot of things, and I, I, you know, the one thing, I've heard some people say this, is one thing is like, well, why don't you just give up? You know, it seems really hard for you, and you're not really that much luck, but why don't you just give up? Because I don't want to. I want to do this. I want to, like, be able to do this as a full-time job. I want to support myself. I want to have fun with it. Yeah, it's tough. It's a pain at times, but I still want to do it. I still want to have fun. I just, you know, I can't say that it hasn't been a bit of a bitch to deal with. Right? Like, it's still a trek. It's still a mountain I have to climb. But I can't lie to you and say that, you know, like, even though it's a pain, yeah, I do, I, I still do enjoy, I still do enjoy what I'm, I'm doing, even though I noticed that, yeah, it might not have that much effect. I'm still, uh, uh, no, just climb this mountain, you know, it might not have that much of an effect going up and whatnot, I might not be making much room, but I still enjoy trying. I still enjoy trying, and I still enjoy, you know, getting my face out there and having a good time and just, you know, doing what I like. And I want to keep doing that. And I know, you know, going forward, this probably doesn't matter. Nobody's probably, not a lot of people are probably going to see this. It probably doesn't matter. And, yeah, there are going to probably be people 
who just, uh, like, just don't give a shit. And just, at the end of the day, they still see me, like, I could try collabing with a number of YouTubers or whoever. Uh, and later on, just, they, they, they just, they still see me as just a clout chaser. As someone who doesn't, uh, as someone who doesn't, like, care about just, you know, hanging out or anything. As someone who just wants to, wants the attention, so to speak. And I get it. It's probably going to be like this for a while. And there's not really much I can actually change about that. But just because I know that doesn't mean I can't try to at least reach out to certain people and ask them, you know, hey, do you want collab? Do you want to hang? Because I feel like it would probably be an enjoyable experience. And hey, if I did get the opportunity and we did have an experience and, you know, they're, I think they're good people. Hey, I found someone who I can stream with. I can be friends with, you know, like I found someone I can actually hang with. And that's really my main priority. It's just, I, just my main two priorities. I want to be able to have fun with what I create. I want to be able to have fun with what I do. And I want to find people that I can either stream, hang out with stream and it like you know maybe hang out with and chill or play the same games with or both you know but again you know this is gonna be it, it's still gonna be a while it'll probably i don't know how long this is gonna take but it'll probably be another three years before i finally see any real progress like i i say real progress like in the sense of like this channel blowing up or this me actually legitimately like becoming big or anything like that i don't know but yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. Like, it's... I understand this is gonna take a while, and it's just something I have to trek up, but it's just... I'm just speaking my mind, which is like, yeah, I know it's gonna take a while, and I'm gonna have to live with that. I'm gonna have to live with job hunting for a while and whatnot. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh... Yeah, I think that's perfect time, because it's 5 o'clock. So... Yeah. Yeah, so I think pretty much that'll do it. I think that's gonna be talk and whatnot. I'm I'm fine with it.